Hello and thanks for clicking on. What we're going to do in this video is just take a look at my Amiibo collection. Starting off with Link, and Link was the very first one I purchased just to see what was going on because I had Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U and I just wanted to see what it was all about. And I was so impressed with them and what you could do with them, um, I decided to buy a whole load of them. And as I wanted to collect them, um, I actually decided to buy another Link, as it was the only ones I could actually get my hands on, um, just keep it on display in my uh, home. Uh, I also done that with the Toon Link as well, which I purchased the day it come out, because I've noticed with these things now, if you're going to get them, you've got to get them the day they come out. Which I also bought two, which I was lucky to get two, of exactly the same one. One to play with and one to keep as a collectible. I then went to get Samus. Uh, I don't know why, I just really wanted Samus as one of my playable amiibo. Followed by Donkey Kong. I really wanted this, not just to play as Donkey Kong, or play with Donkey Kong in the uh, Super Smash Bros. games. Um, but really the detail of the actual amiibo itself, I was really impressed that, you know, they are putting some detail into these uh, amiibo figures here. Fox, I really wanted Fox, uh, only because I saw it in a shop and I realised it was the last one. Uh, which I then purchased, but you know, just doing a general gaming shopping round, just going around searching on the internet, etc. They was currently out of stock, so I purchased it and got it, but I, I didn't want to open it because they were so rare and you know how it goes, you know, you want to keep things on. Um, same with the Bowser one as well. If I can keep my eyes open for another Bowser to play on Smash Brothers and other games now, I probably will because the high detail of quality in the this Amiibo as well, I was really impressed with, you know, it's... Um, Probably better than Mario. I got Ike uh, basically because of these things were becoming rare and I wanted to buy it because um, I'm thinking this would be a nice little pension scheme for me in a few years to come. Now these ones uh, were purchased for my wife who has decided not to open them and she's not here at the moment hence that's why they're included in the video. Uh, Peach very very highly decorated, slightly different to the Mario Party one which I don't own any of them and I would like to get some and I just can't find them anywhere. Um, but very highly detailed. Going on to Kirby, now I got these in an offer, it was buy two for X amount of money, I can't remember what, but I got them two Peach and Kirby together, um, which Kirby, you know, it's a nice simple shape, but it really does show the character in quite a lot of detail, there's not much detail in a Kirby, um, but I've heard it's a very good Smash amiibo to have, uh, and again, quite difficult to get your hands on now, but I've been told it's a very good character to get your hands on. Now this is the one my wife actually wanted, uh, I think I got it for Christmas, which is Yoshi. And it's probably, Yoshi is probably the most um, different variety of Amiibo, but this is the original Smash Brothers one. Um, which Yoshi is, if he ever comes up online or on a random computer selection, that is the character I dread more than any. Um, so I think that my wife got the hint to keep it in the box and keep it away. Okay, the next two is basically the Legend of Zelda um, add-ons to the rest of them, which is uh, Princess Zelda, which is in the collection, and her uh, alter ego here, which um, I bought, I can't remember where, but again, I had to get this on the day of release or I wasn't getting it. This next amiibo, completely different to all the other amiibos that I have in my wee small collection here, uh, which I have covered in another video, which is Woolly Yoshi, which is not made out of wool, it's polyester, but we don't tell the children that, do we? Um, works with Super Smash Brothers, I've got it to work, and it works well with the game as well, which is a wonderful game, a little bit easier but it's really for the little ones that one but it's still a lot of fun uh, to have in the collection this one is the green squidlin uh, which came with the collector's edition of Splatoon which I know quite a few people didn't get because there was an incident um, with a certain game retailer um, getting these orders which was an absolute shame but still luckily I was able to get my hands on one um, which there's really too much in the game apart from sort of extra content, which it's a plastic DLC, that's what they do. It doesn't work on Smash Brothers, um, but like these next two here, all three do actually work with Yoshi's Woolly World where you can have your Yoshi character as one of the Inklings here, and it does work fine. But as for the in-game Splatoon, there's a lot of extra content, so I think they are worth it, and it's an extra, extra toy for the collection, and they do work well. Okay, so that's my collection there of all the Amiibos that I have. Now, any eagle-eyed people watching this will probably notice there's one or two Amiibo that weren't in the main video. If you're um, 
eager like why don't you just leave a comment below or subscribe to the channel and there's loads of other stuff on the channel that might take your interest so please have a look at the playlist and other videos thanks for watching and have a good day evening night morning afternoon wherever whenever you are have a good one